minutes left. Yeah, I know. Let's move this along. So we this was not a planned talk, but it's an exciting talk. It is. It is an exciting talk. So when I was a kid, I wanted to be a contractor. Ask my dad. I used to take apart and put everything back together just so I could say I fixed it. Oh my I mean, gosh, it you was, did not even. I remember the first thing was an old alarm, you know, with the, the, the numbers that fell yeah, like that yeah. and had the, the band. Did you actually get it working again? No, no, I totally destroyed it. I destroyed more things than I fixed. But then I used to go out and I used to move rock. Like I had a dirt bike trail. Yeah. You know, we, we lived in the country and I actually had more fun making the trail than using it. Ended up crashing into a tree. It was oh, really geez. bad. But one of the things I loved about you know, the idea of contracting then is that you always were able to use your imagination, your creativity. To put things together, take things apart. And with concrete, especially in cold weather concreting, sure. there are so many things you can do. To protect your concrete. To protect your concrete, especially with new and emerging technology. Absolutely. What we're going to talk about today is... Da -da -da! Hydronic heating. And how you could do that by taking a small trip to Walmart or Amazon. Home Depot? Uh, Home Depot. Home Depot and Amazon. Yeah, maybe not Walmart. Depending on how good your Amazon or your Home Depot is. Definitely Amazon. Love so Amazon. let's let's set up the scenario. We have got a concrete slab. In December, being placed. Be on a, on a Friday afternoon. You're a residential contractor. You're placing a 20 by 30. Mm -hmm. driveway right it is so 20 by 30 is 600 square feet right um, and you have uh, six inches thick let's say sure. yeah um, so that's what is that uh, 300 cubic feet? cubic feet yep so 300 cubic feet divided by 27 is what 10 a little more than 10 so around 10 cubic yards let's say 15 cubic yards with some, you know, uh, you know, uh, factor of safety to that mix. So two trucks, seven and a half yards each, sure. and the mix that you're going to use is 517 pounds total cementitious, um, you know, uh, straight cement or ash? Ash. Yeah, probably. Let's say Colorado, 20% ash, 15% ash. Let's yeah. say F ash. 4% air. Four per, uh, well, five and a half percent air yeah. since it's driveway. Six, yeah, five and a half to seven and a half percent air. Slump four to seven inch. Sure. You get it on the drier side, so it could be placed a little bit because it's got a little slope. Sure. Um, and then what? I said twelve fifty on the sand, a little bit of mid range. Seventeen fifty on the course. Se yeah, and then twelve fifty yep. on the sand. Four ounce per hundred weight on the mid range. Half ounce per hundred weight on the air, and maybe one percent of a non chloride accelerator. Just to, yeah. How about setup a little quicker? Yeah, just 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 because you know it's getting cold out. Um, so normally this time of year we're in the twenties. 30s at night for sure definitely if let's say you've got a Friday afternoon so no, nobody's coming in the next day right and the weather changes here in Colorado can change quick oh yeah the uh, other night the other night we had a cold snap of negative 15 blizzard just come out of nowhere literally a blizzard came like out. we weren't supposed to have any zero percent chance of precipitation I mean it, so what can you do to protect your concrete. And an interesting idea is hydronic heating. Sure. So the steps that we would use, right? Home Depot trip. Sure. Run out to your local Home Depot. Hardest thing that you're gonna have to find is Tubing? blankets. Mm -hmm. Concrete blankets are gonna be the hardest thing to find. So let's assume that you're at your Home Depot or you got a white cap or a big R or a Murdoch's and they have two or they have concrete heating blankets. I need you to get two sets. Nobody said this is going to be cheap, but you're okay with it because you don't want to have to go through the lawsuit. Right. Two carrying blankets to cover over the entire slab and a little bit more. So if you need two sets, that means four carrying blankets each set, five, whatever the area is. Right. For 20 by 30, you know, if you get five by nines, you need 20 by 34, five, eight, yeah. ten, whatever it is, yeah. whatever the math comes out to be, two sets. And then what you want to do is pretend you're making a radiant heat floor. What I mean by that is you need, need your tubing. You need your tubing to go throughout covering the surface area, two foot, maybe one foot to three foot spacing in between yeah. the loops I don't of the think hoses. I do three. I don't, it depends how cold it's gonna yeah, be. That's true. Colder it is, the closer they are together. 
and then you need a water tank. A water tank that you can hopefully put inside a little bit away from this place, but not too far away. If you can't, insulate it, but you should be able to put it into a controlled environment, like even a trailer. Right. And in the trailer, you can put heaters to keep that water, but you're ultimately putting a bunch of things in this tank. The first thing is a pump right. that is hooked up to the a timer that circulates the water, feeds it through the system and back into the tank. I right. love this. Just around and around. So yeah. much. 90-gallon tank. Right. I, love to, I love talking about this. Um, the next thing that you're going to get is what? Here for the water, right? Here for the water. Some sort of water source. So water source, was, which is the tank. Or you just put the water in. Yeah, and then you need heat for the water. Right. Right. And they've got these great tank heaters that are about like 70 bucks on Amazon. And you can hook it up to a temperature range sure. device so you can to set track, it up. Yeah. To or just get an inkbird to maintain that. And those are on Amazon for like 40 bucks. Just maintain the temperature. You, you set could it put... A range. You can put a range. A range of temperature, so you want the water. Remember, the water's going through, so as it goes through, it's going to be cooled down. Right. So you can have the heater turn on right. to heat that water off and shut down to save energy. And then once the water's heated up, it can go back through. Seal the tank with a little right. bit of plastic. Right. Have a heater in there just in case. And then remember, you're sandwiching that those uh, water tubes. Or, yeah, your tubing network. So the great thing about this is, and this is where we'll finish it up, is that you know some of the concern with heating your concrete, especially with blankets, is tearing the blankets off. Right. Right. You have that thermal shock. What you could do is you can actually s get the temperature of the ambient environment in your water sure. tank. Sure. And you can hit. It's a hydronic. I didn't say it's a heating system. I said it's a hydronic. It's a water regulated temperature system. So you can actually cool your concrete temperature down to the ambient environment so that when you take off your blankets, you don't induce thermal shock. Oh, sure. Which causes cracking, which is sure. going to defeat the entire right. purpose. Well, and likewise, too, I mean, you could always use that sort of thing in the, in the summertime to make sure that your concrete's not setting up too fast either. I mean, I, I try to be all smooth there, it didn't work. No, loved it, th though. that that's the whole point of hydronic. To control your concrete temperature. Love it. If your mind wasn't blown right now, I mean, come on. Right. I, I want to make a slab in winter just to prove out that concept. Yeah. What do you say? It's a small, small slab. Small slab. What's a 20 foot by 20 foot between the fronts? No, it's not. Thanks for joining us today. If you have any questions, put them in that area below. Stay tuned for some contests that we've got coming out. Like, subscribe, and click the little bell for notifications of our new video. Go Concrete! Beat Asphalt! Thanks for joining us.